Hello YouTube, this is Onyx Partition, and I am showing off my arena build that I've designed and created myself. It consists of four different mobs that I control, and players have to fight off different waves, and the last player standing wins. To start, to start off, I usually start with the zombies, and so I lift that lever, doors open up over there, the button dispensers dispense out two zombies at a time and if there's a player and then they'll chase after the player obviously then spiders which is over here nope over, over there oh skeleton sorry oh, skeletons over there spiders is over here I can't decide I usually choose skeletons or spiders depending on which one I feel like giving to the player Do each one and then as the little waves get progressively harder, I'll spawn like six of those guys. And and then lastly, I open up blaze doors, which is down here. And I can spawn some of these guys. But they make terrible sounds, so yeah. But you're saying, oh, but they don't have anything to, um, to, to fight against them with. So these doors are for... I start off a player, the players in here, or here, Oop, sorry about that, start the players off in these little um, areas where they have a crafting bench and a smelter, I got them to walk in there, close the doors, then I place the different uh, different weapons and stuff that I'll give them. Let's say I, I give them an iron sword, and then some armor, and different stuff like that. And then I can drop it in and give both players the same stuff at the same time. Or if we play other one player did better than the other, give him more stuff. And then they fight him off and they kill each other. And then actually, I, I can't decide if I want PvP or not. I think I'll just leave it as no PvP because. Just makes it funner. And yeah, I have built it and designed it all myself. I had an arena once where all the the floor lighting would light up, and I could turn it on and off, and it, it was just really complicated. I've just left it as torches and stuff. I like it the way it is right now. It's fun. It's all under. It's actually not underneath the ground per se it is but it isn't it's also on the side of a mountain and if you're wondering what the paintings are at the back they are a way for me to oh frick I forgot to open the doors do, 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 do. this is really botched but I don't care one take. I believe in one take and one take only. I'm not redoing this video again. Boop, boop. There we go. It's a secret door. For all your mi uh, multiplayer fans, what you do is you put a painting up, and you can jump through the painting. You have secret doors. It's fun. And that's how I get out of here. Because the control room is private. Employees only. Except the door to get in is kind of obvious. <laughs> then here's where, uh. Hey, witch. I've worked on. We're not done working on it yet, but this is how you get inside. And then here's some castle that we're working on building. It's just. Eh. Nothing special. Only a, only a few hours' work has gone into it. Just kidding. We put a lot of work into it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you liked. Hope you liked the video. Um, consider a subscription. And have a great day.